Just in case someone asks me, I'd like to read something. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, these were like, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. I just wanted to see that. All right. What a what a game. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not going to have much of a voice in here. Heck of a win. Super proud of our players and staff. And uh, it was awesome. What a football game. Uh, you know, Coach Brown and, and uh, his team battled back. And quarterback for them is a really good football player. But our guys are just resilient. They got a lot of grit, heart. Just find a way to win. That's what we did. And uh, thankful to be with these guys. And it's been a hard month. Can't even put that in words for you guys how hard this month's been for me. And uh, so great way to finish the season. Very thankful. Give God the glory. And can't wait to enjoy a Saturday of college football with no stress. Just relaxing with my family. So it's a hell of a win. Questions? Celebrating the game twice, like you won the game in the last play of regulation. Yeah. Everybody celebrate. How tough was it refocusing? Yeah, I mean, the, the guys that were on the far side were celebrating. We knew they were going to put time back on the clock. So I was trying to get everybody back together. Um, that was a crazy sequence right there, for sure. What was it like preparing your fourth string quarterback and your fifth string nickelback? Who would always play corner. Yeah, I don't think people like this. people understand like what Dariq Pitts had to do today. Um, and they casted him up. You know, he's got a bad wrist sprain and he's he's gonna play. And Jalen Frazier, you know, has been a third string, fourth string guy all year, comes in, gives us valuable minutes. Dariq Pitts. They they did a great job on downs. We all know how good a player he is. And uh, to keep him from scoring, you know, really good job at the nickel position. We missed Tyler Baker Williams, we missed, you know, <laughs> Jakeen Harris, Devin Boykin. Um, all three nickels were out. So pretty impressive that Dorit could go in there and have the recall he did. He was the nickel for Tony at West Virginia back in the day, a long time ago. <clears throat> so yeah, I gave everybody a game ball, but <laughs> had I not, he would have been one of the guys probably that we got singled out today. Devin, Devin Carter played a lot recently, but he, yeah, some big he did. Yeah, Devin, we needed Devin. You know, he's a he's a guy who can make contact catches, and they got deep, big corners. Came up with a big play for us there to you know get the lead and a lot of contact catches that we need to make. Obviously, we had another one we could have made there at the end and didn't. So, yeah, it's good to have Devin back, and you know we're hoping that we'd have Trent Penix too, and it just didn't didn't last. And what can you say about? Him? <laughs> you guys been a scout team uh, quarterback for the last couple weeks. Yeah, back. well, I think it's a great lesson, you know, for people out there that, you know, you don't give up. You keep working. And Ben could have easily been one of these quarterbacks that jumped in the portal when he didn't get what he thought he was going to get. <clears throat> and instead, he was a great teammate. He went down and serviced the defense. And I bet that that 10 weeks down there made him the player that you're looking at right now. Going against that defense day in and day out has helped him see the game a little bit better, slower. You guys know our defense does a lot and presents a lot of things, and he has to see that every day as the scout team quarterback. And so super proud of him. Like, you can't say enough about him stepping in and taking care of the football and doing a lot of good things for us. How much does this win, I don't know if routine is the right word, but you guys obviously have big goals, a lot of adversity. Right. You know that. So how much does this win kind of reshape, I don't know, the narrative, the story? Well, you know, when you have – I think we had eight starters out at one point last week. Um, and the week before, I felt like the game was taken from us more than we lost it, to be honest. So I don't know that it reshapes anything. I think it just proves the staying power that our guys have, the resiliency, the toughness, the grit, the love. And uh, I told them all week, like, nobody's going to care about anything other than this win when we win this game. Like, this will make a lot of things feel better. It's a 365-day, you know what, sandwich that the other school gets to eat. And we didn't want to eat it. You know, we wanted to have that. And we wanted to finish with that pride. And that's what happens in rivalry games. You know, one team gets to feel good for a year and the other one doesn't. And so it's a great job by our guys finishing it. What's going through your mind as you kind of ripped off the pole over there and oh, yeah. the crowd? Yeah, light it red. I mean, that's what we do when there's a celebration, you know. And uh, 
I actually wear this quite a bit underneath, you know, my, my top and I don't know, I just got excited. So <laughs> wanted to go over there and see, I heard our fans cheering, which was awesome. Our parent section was great. And so I just wanted to go over there and thank them and get excited with them and celebrate. Do you wear most games? Not all, you know, I'm not going to get into all that, but yeah. The first time you showed it to the ground. Yeah, it's the first time. Is this one of your biggest regular season wins you think is Kansas State? I know it's still fresh. But... I don't know. I mean, the Clemson win last year was pretty monumental. I mean, this year we've had some big wins, like the comeback wins. <clears throat> I think we still have the biggest comeback win in FBS this year, so against Virginia Tech. But yeah, I mean, it's, anytime you beat your rival, it's huge. And they were a top 20 team that is going to the championship game, you know, so that was a hell of a win. Didn't get brought up a lot, but to go three and zero in Penn State games. Yeah. You know, is that something you guys talk yeah. about at all? I did talk about it. Uh, it's not really a state championship because we didn't get to play Duke, you know, but we did beat all three teams in state with DCU, Wake, and UNC. So it's awesome to have that, you know, as part of the year. And obviously that helps in recruiting. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think his brother's undefeated here, you know, and so that's cool to keep the tradition going for the Finleys. Uh, yeah, can't say enough about Ben and his performance today. He's a little different than Ben. <laughs> He's pretty much the care for you. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> he is. Anyone else? Thank you, guys. Oh, DC, have fun, man. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah, it, it definitely does. I mean, you know, it's the biggest rivalry, so it's great to win rivalry games. I'm just able to keep my poise. I mean, I really give all the glory to God. Just keep my poise and uh, do what I do. How does it feel to have a team that depends on you and can count on you in those moments and will give you that chance? Oh, it's great. I definitely count on them too. I mean, they, they back me 100% and I back them. You know, we just work hard and, and finish. What about the way Ben played today? He was a four straight quarterback. He was all pretty well. Yeah, it was, it was amazing to just go out there and see that. I mean, we all had faith in him. We knew he could get the job done and we, and we did it. Did he have kind of like a, a common presence in the huddle, or was it like being extra? I mean, yeah, like like y'all mentioned, he's just a carefree guy. I mean, he's just he has poise as well, so it's just simple. Was it like to plant the flag out there? I'm not sure if you were one of the ones doing it. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was just amazing to go out like that. Did you plant the flag? Yeah. Yeah, I was one of the ones. Yeah. Was that just like a spur of the moment you saw the flag, or is that something you guys talked about? Nah, it was a spur of the moment. Like, it was just a spur of the moment. You played around here, and then obviously played, so you know the, the depth of the rivalry to be a part of it now. This will be, you know, when you were touching on the lot, people say this is a Devin Carter game. What does that mean to you to know that 15, 20 years from now, people will be talking about you and your heroes? I just give all the glory to God, honestly, and my teammates, really. Like, we couldn't do none of it without the O-line, D-line, defense. Special teams and the sideline, like we just tighten it team. We know how to stay together and finish. How different than the last year? It's just the same, honestly. It feels great. Some similarities between the back shoulder catch that you made for the to go ahead and touch down in regulation and the ones that Emeka made last year. Uh, yeah, I learned a lot from him and the guys before me, so it was good. Did you guys think you had won at the end of regulation? I mean, a lot of people started celebrating like the game was over. I try not to get too happy, you know, too soon. I try to wait till everything's finished. And then once we know that we finished, then we celebrate. What kind of bowl game is this to you? The best one, honestly, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I love these guys, you know. What's the emotions like you felt the last night? It's just like, it's joy. That's really how I can just describe it. Were you watching that last two? Yeah. That's the first thing that's in your mind. He's going to miss. That's the first thing in my mind. We call a timeout, ice him. He's going to miss. Yeah. How about winning? Oh, just joy, pure <laughs> excitement. <laughs> Couldn't wait to celebrate with my teammates. What made you think he was going to miss? It's 
just NC State thing. I can't, I really can't explain it. Like, it's just good things happen to the good guys. No problem. Thank y'all. We'll get uh, Ben and Tanner. <laughs> Uh, no, he wasn't. He's back in Arizona. I wish he was, though. I know he was watching. Have you talked to him since the game ended? I haven't. No, I'm about to FaceTime him, though. How, um, how cool is it, you know, to do, for you to do this today, knowing, you know, that he did. He had a couple big wins here for you in NC State. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I think he went 2-0 and here in Carter, Finley West. But, uh, you know, just having my first start and be able to go out there with the guys and get that W, I mean, it's, it's the greatest feeling ever. I mean, being five weeks ago, being four-string quarterback, you know, just kind of messing around on scout team, still getting better, and then having those guys just still trust me when I came came back up to the starting roster. I mean, it just means the world to have the support from you know the entire team. And, you know, we they just played so well. Defense, offensive line gave me so much time back there. It was like it's like I was just camping back there. It's awesome. Could you imagine three, four, five weeks ago? No. Be here this. I mean. No. I mean, we were talking. My roommate, who uh, starts on our uh, our artillery, which is just PAT and a field, field goal unit, we were like, dude, like first week ECU, there's no way we would have thought we'd both be starting, you know, you at UNC, and it's just it's surreal. Who is your roommate? Matt McCabe. He's the uh, he's one of the guards on our our artillery unit. What's one of those games in this field? What was that? He's won both of those games in this field. Going yeah. Artillery. Yeah, it's crazy. Can you describe kind of the, the madness of the celebration and where you were and what you saw, that kind of thing? I don't I don't even really remember. <laughs> I was just running around trying to hug everyone. And uh, I think I grabbed an NC State flag and playing on the field or something, but uh, as I should have. How were nerves today? And I guess maybe that early pass to Devin. Yeah. Um, you know, you, the nerves go away when you take the first hit. And so that – I mean, it helped to get that that lead at 7-0, but um, you know, leading up to the game, it's just if you're not nervous and something's wrong with you, so I was, you know, I was a little nervous, but it's just football. People talk about your kind of connection with Devin Carter. It just felt like you, you always seem to know where he was out there. Yes, yeah, it's, um, it's crazy. It's the first week week back in a while, and to be honest, I I haven't thrown a pass to Devin Carter in probably over a year and a half, <laughs> and so. <laughs> And it was like it's like that with Thayer, Daryl. I've never thrown a pass to Daryl until uh, last last week in Louisville. And so it's just, it's just kind of weird. It's like I'm playing on like an all star team or something, you know? It's got ballers everywhere. How much of your first game maybe healed some of the pain this team's had given all the adversity you guys have faced? Oh, we, I mean, we knew if we got this win at UNC, it would it would be a, a big old band aid on the season. But I mean. Anytime you can, you know, beat your rivals, especially at their home on senior night, it's just huge. What is it about your personality where you haven't doubted yourself? You've handled, you know, a very difficult situation, but you are coming out on top from it. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You, you can never doubt your doubt yourself. I mean, that's just to be able to persevere is, you know, the biggest thing in life. Things are going to happen to you and, you know, just fighting, keep climbing up the hill and, you know, you can, you're, you've never reached the pinnacle of the, you know, the mountain. You just got to keep climbing and getting better. And, you know, that's what, what we do on scout team. It's just you know, what our entire team does. It's constantly fighting. Coach you said that you, you and being on the scout team helped you improve because you were going against this defense every week. How much did that help you? And what areas did that make you better? In? Um, you know, it definitely helped with some of the throw windows and kind of being comfortable in the pocket, but, it definitely it doesn't help with speed. I, I definitely thought the game was going to be pretty slow when I got out there last week in Louisville and this week, uh, and it just it wasn't because scout team you know you kind of let up and I don't get tackled like I, I haven't taken a hit in three years since you know this game and so just kind of getting back into that it helps you just get more comfortable. But I mean my old line, I mean I I don't even look like I played a game. My jersey is like pristine white, and so. 
I mean, anytime you can go out there and just camp back there and just deliver balls is, you know, it's, it's a privilege, really. With the quarterback situation where it is, did you ever consider transferring and maybe going somewhere else before? No. Um, I wanted to graduate from NC State, and that's that's huge. I'm graduating in December. That's going to be really important for me to get my degree here. Um, you know, I never tried to get in UC, but according to Drake, you know, I couldn't have. But <laughs> so I think it's it's good that I get a nice degree from NC State and uh, finance and let's go from there. You got in the stands to celebrate. Talk about that moment that you had. I had to find my parents. I mean, I love them so much. And, you know, they've just been such a big part of my life growing up with them. It's, um, I mean, they're the best parents anyone could ask for and their constant support. I mean, even when I'm four string, they're coming to every single game. And, um, you know, the last three years, they haven't missed a game. And that's just, I love them so much, and the, the least I can do is just go up there and celebrate with them. And you know, definitely going to be continuing that celebration when I when I go home. But, who, was, who was your go-to receiver on the scout team? Go-to receiver? It was um, Terrell, and then I got him moved up. We were just we were just tearing up the defense. Me and Terrell, or Terrell and I, and uh, you know he was bumped up, and then it was Jalen Coy, and we were, I mean my tight ends were ballers. We were balling. <laughs> Yeah. Wake Forest was fun, you know, that slow yeah. mesh and then just shutting our feet. Yeah. yeah. Where, you know. the life, where the life takes you, this will probably, to a lot of state fans, be the Ben Finley game. Yeah. What does that mean to you? I mean, legacy-wise, years from now. I mean, you know, I'm glad I could do that for them, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's it's a team win. I mean, I have made some mistakes, some crucial mistakes that I wish I could get back, and I'm going to learn from it, but, I mean, it was just the entire team. Started with Chris Dunn. I mean, Jack going in there and putting that one, uh, the first touchdown in. Our defense just making stops. I mean, it was so fun watching our defense out there. But uh, no, I mean, this is just a, a big time NC State win at you know UNC Senior Day. It's not I mean, a Ben Finley win. You you're graduating, but you still have some more eligibility. Do you want to be this team starting quarterback next year? Oh yeah. I mean, I got three years of eligibility to play, which is crazy I'm going to be in college just as long as my brother <laughs> even though he was in college for like 20 years uh, so yeah I mean I'm, I want to keep playing football I love this game and I love this team I love this school hey guys I gotta get dressed how y'all doing? It, it seems like a lot of people are taking credit for planting flags, but I, I saw you. Were you planting the, a, a flag on the 50 yard line? Was that not you? Yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't touch a flag. Was that not you? <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. Like, that was Cyrus. Oh, was that Cyrus? Oh, my bad. Well, why didn't you, man? Hey, man. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> talk, about, talk about this win and, just, and, and how much it means to you. Uh, you know, it's always good to come over here and beat the blue people. Uh, you know, we don't like them at all. So, you know, coming over here and getting that win, it's a it's a good win for us. It's always exciting, you know, being Carolina. <laughs> Going into the game, how would you have rated your hands now that you got that interception? How would you I have rated my hands? Your hands in terms of catching the interception ten for ten. the last few years. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Did the today hands. show ball those hawk. hands? Yeah, ball hawk. <laughs> <laughs> so how much does this kind of, I don't know, give you guys redemption and something to really hang your hat on this season? Given you, you guys have lofty goals, obviously, between the conference problems, right. various reasons. How much does this kind of help to keep something happening? I mean, I think it's just a testament to our team culture. You know, we, we made an emphasis on just, you know, whatever happens, just make sure we finish the season. So, you know, we went out there and we played hard. We did what we were supposed to do. We ain't put our heads down. We ain't go out there and play soft. You know, we played like we wanted to win, and, you know, that's what we did. You did face Ben Finley this year. Every day. Yeah. What was it like seeing him out there for oh, the way this day? It's what we expected. He, he was doing that to us all year in the scout team. So, you know, him going out there and have, having the opportunities he did and making the plays that he did, you know, we're just excited for him. It's, it's fun. It's nice to go, go out there and, you know, see Ben have a lot of success, especially, you know, considering how long he's been here. He's been here for like three, four years. Uh, last time he played in a game was what? Last Maybe last UNC besides like this year, last UNC game, uh, tip ball, threw a pick, and after that, you know, he ain't touched the field since. So, it's it's exciting, you know, to see him go out there and you know just have success, you know, watching him 
in his progress that he's made. Did you play with Riley in the season? Uh, my freshman year, yes, sir. How cool is it to be a part of you know, winning this stadium and get to see both brothers go out there and do it? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Um, nah, I mean, it's, just, it's, it's cool, you know? It's, like I said, it's always fun when we beat Carolina. We so. Yes, sir. How's Ben's personality different than Ryan? <laughs> Ben's a lot more outgoing than Ryan, for sure. Ryan was very introverted. You know, Ben, Ben gonna let you hear it <laughs> all day. Did he chirp on the scaffold? Oh, yeah. That's Ben. <laughs> Did you chirp back? Always. <laughs> that is my boy, man. Me and Ben, are, we're close. You know, he pushes us every day. Well, he did push us every day in scout team, and, you know, and you see the results from that, so. What's the celebration like? Oh man, it was fun. We're still celebrating. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I know. I said apart from this season. Yeah, appreciate it. Yes, sir.